overall 11 and 0 proud of this football team but we're not done yet and uh, there will be no celebrating tonight uh, we're going to celebrate the victory and on to Texas A&M next week uh, we're going to be ready to play that football game any question you know it's uh it's it's not done yet and we're, we're not done yet and uh, we're not going to talk about that and obviously it's a goal of ours but we have bigger goals, and uh, we'll talk about that next week. Uh, we're not finished SEC play, so we're just focusing on Texas A&M next week. Yeah, I thought the defense, you know, they ran the same plays that Ole Miss ran, and obviously I thought we stopped them now. It wasn't the same type of quarterback, obviously. I don't think this quarterback was as good as uh, Ole Miss's guys, but we made some corrections. In fact, the first play was the same play that hurt us, and we did a great job of it, so I'm proud of our defensive staff. Can you just talk about the, the success that Clyde has had these last yeah. couple games? Really yeah, he's on fire. Yeah, You know, um, we really like Clyde, obviously. Uh, he's starting to learn how to hit the holes. Uh, this spread offense fits him well. He's perfect for it. It creates uh, – they're always a gap short up front. They're trying to cover our receivers, and, and the offensive line is doing a great job, and he knows where that hole is. And usually the first guy can't tackle him. He's doing a tremendous job. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Vision, the spin, go through them, make them missed, cut, outstanding. Um, great back. When the score is 56-6, you want to play some other guys, right? I mean, yeah. No, no, we just want to win the game. We're real, I wanted uh, our offense to try to score. I wanted uh, Miles to, to run our offense and try to score. I didn't want to let them score. I didn't want to give up that onside kick. Uh, we look a little sloppy at the end. So it's just a matter of competing for 60 minutes. I think he did well. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of him. Yeah, really. I thought he did very well. Obviously, there'll be some things on the film that we got to get better. But it's his first start, man, in the SEC game. I thought the guy did tremendous. Was that? You think there'll be any high emotions to guard against? No question. There's no question about that. It's gonna be on. <laughs> Was that? No question. No question. I'll never forget that game last year. We're going to be ready. Is that as upset as you've ever been after a game? Uh, I, don't know about, I don't know about that. But I just, you know, that's over. Uh, there's nothing we can do at the end of the game. We felt helpless. But there's something we can do about it this week. Last week, you know, you said that the players were kind of down on themselves for their performance. I guess kind of as a defense, how do you think they've taken, you know, strides in the defense? Yeah, I thought they were ready to play, man. I thought the, the ready to play. Coach Aranda was fired up. Our whole defensive staff was fired up. Uh, I thought they did some really good things tonight. Second week in a row, you had that offensive line that shows looked pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the maturation of the whole line and the offense. Yeah. Yeah. They've done a good job. But I will say this to you, they struggled at the beginning of the game. We've got to look at it. Uh, we was getting too much pressure. We didn't want to get Joe hit. But overall, man, those guys have done a tremendous job. Uh, credit to Coach Craig. Yeah, you know, I think we, it was like pounding a rock. We just kept on coming. We just gonna pound the rock, man. We're going to keep on coming. We knew that, hey, we wanted to play for 60 minutes tonight. I thought it was good for our football team. You know, I didn't want to, you know, we'd we'll go out there and just it'd be an easy game. Uh, we don't want that, and it wasn't an easy game, and we got better. We had to keep on pounding the rock. I thought our team got better tonight. Did you Stevens kind of took over the game defensively? Oh, man, did he play well. You know, he, you know, one of that first sack, uh, he was supposed to drop in coverage, but he, he, he saw the tight end blocks. He took a chance and got a sack, and then he beat the tight end one on one. We need to rush him more. He is a dominant football player for us. Stephon Moss broke the single season school record for receptions by a tight end. Yeah. How much of an asset is he in this offense? How tight are you, are you of him after the things that he had, after having to wait for so long? Listen, man, Thad Moss is one of the most improved players uh, in our program. Uh, he was, had a lot of injuries. Uh, he changed his mindset. He dedicated himself for his senior year. Again, I'll say it again, spring break, I went work out. He's there, didn't go home. He said, Coach, I, I'm going to be dedicated to this year. Look what he's done. Tremendous player. I think he has a bright future, and it also helps us in recruiting tight ends. We tell these tight ends we're going to go throw to them, and they see it on film. It's the second week in a row. Y'all just left the trophy on the field. Is that just going back to it? Is this 
Yeah. There's a mindset of this football team. We have a goal. And uh, the goal next week is to beat Texas A&M. And uh, that's going to be one at a time. We know where we want to go. We don't talk about it. Uh, there'll be time to celebrate uh, when we're done. So, excuse me? the biggest threat Well, you know, we're going to look at it on tape. I haven't looked at them at all. Uh, obviously, we did not defend them very well last year. Uh, we, you know, to have those big receivers. Uh, uh, I just need to look at it on tape. Uh, I feel we're going to be a lot better this year. It's going to be a good game. You, you talk about how you got bigger goals. Is this the kind of statement win that kind of shows you all something while you're going on that goal? Yeah, I don't think this is a statement win. No, we don't look at it that way. Uh, we're 11 and 0. We're proud of that. Uh, our focus is, is going to be at 12 and 0, beat Texas A&M, and that's it. Yeah, you know, I was glad that we could sit Grant. I thought that uh, he needed a rest. Uh, he was playing hurt the last three or four games. I do believe that Austin Deckless is going to be back. Uh, I know that Sadiq is going to be back, so I think we're going to be about as healthy as we've been, and we're in good shape for the stretch. this question years before when you didn't win that game. But do you think there's been a little bit of a post-Alabama hangover? You won the last two games. You yeah. You haven't played your yeah. best football. You know, I don't, I don't think so. I think, you know, we went out there and uh, we played good football in, in the first half against Ole Miss. So I, I don't think it is that. I think it's a matter of the teams that we're playing. And uh, there's some situations that we got to get better. Uh, we're very potent on offense. Uh, we're proven on defense. Uh, we're making some mistakes on special teams that later on down the road we can't make. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I got to tell you all the truth here, okay? That play, uh, when they went in, I said, hey guys, don't y'all think it's time to get Clyde out? And they said, just one more play, coach. And they felt like they were going to make a big play, and that was that one play. So I'm glad we didn't take them out until after that play. You know, I, I don't remember. I don't, I, don't, I don't exactly remember. Was it important to have the starters in with Miles? Yeah, you know, we want, yeah, we want Miles to get some, some shots with the starters. But you know what? You're up that much. You get Jefferson hurt or you get uh, number one hurt. It don't make sense, you know. Yeah, you know, it, it's uh, we don't think of it that way. Uh, you know, although we all rank that in the polls right now, it wouldn't matter if we, we wouldn't beat Arkansas. You know, that's so we're just taking it one game at a time. Um, we want to be ranked number one at the end of the season. Uh, that is the goal of this football team, and uh, we have a ways to go. We got to get better, and we know that. So we keep it a level head. Uh, on to Texas A&M, and we don't talk about rankings or nothing like that. We don't talk about SEC this, SEC that, and not, it's not time to do that. You have reached 4,000 yards and 40 touchdowns. What does that mean, if anything, Yeah, well, we're proud. We're proud of our offense, and we're proud that we went to the spread. Uh, give credit to Steve Ensming and Joe Brady, the offensive line. Everybody deserves credit. I mean, what, what, a, what a showing on offense, and we're not done yet. You know, I didn't think I didn't think I didn't think at the beginning of the season he'd get a thousand yards, and uh, just give him credit because uh, he is a competitive cat, man, and I'm so glad for him. And uh, we still got many games left with him. Coach, can take one more. Your question? team not celebrating on the field at the end there—that starts with your leaders in terms of yeah. not being satisfied. No, that's right. We we uh, and that, that was going to be not. Too much of a celebration to beat in Arkansas. They haven't beaten anybody in a long time. So uh, we were supposed to win that football game and uh, on to Texas A&M. But the West, I guess. Yeah, you know, we, we don't feel like we've accomplished what we want to accomplish yet. And uh, next week we're going to talk about that. But it's on to Texas A&M. That, that's more important to us right now. Hey, thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more scores, highlights, and analysis, you can download the ESPN app. You got the ESPN app, right? I, I, honestly, on Saturdays for college football fans, if you don't have the ESPN <laughs> app, that's the lifeline 
for every college football fan. So you have to have that. The live streaming now, ESPN Plus, to me, it's the only way to go. ESPN Plus was key for me recently. Got to get ESPN <laughs> Plus. Arkansas State, Troy, down to the wire. Loving Super it. Super dog winner. Thanks to ESPN Plus.